Right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark. Over the next few nights, I'm going to be documenting my brother. Not something I'd normally do, but he claims he's being attacked by some sort of spirit in the night, like a ghost or something. And uh, usually I think, you know, he's just, he's high or he's on drugs or he's drunk, but this time he generally seems like he's actually, you know, in trouble. So why not film it and see if something happens? And if it doesn't, get to prove to the world he's full of shit. So let's see. Let's, let me introduce you to him. Hey Andy, you all right? You, 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 uh, fancy doing a little interview there, buddy? Are we seriously doing this? <sighs> Don't see why not. <laughs> your, your idea, isn't it? I mean, well, not your idea, but yeah. You don't put it on Facebook or YouTube, are you? I'll put it on if we get something. If we don't, I'll just, you know, just be between us, I guess. <sighs> Fine. All right then. What do you want to know? Just everything. Just start from the beginning. Alright, well, I was in Exeter and uh, went to this house party. We all got smashed. And uh, Jenny decided it'd be a good idea to try the Ouija board. God knows why she had one. And we were just like, alright, fuck it, let's do it, see what happens. And uh, we did it, expecting nothing to happen. And about an hour later, stuff started moving by itself. The pictures were moving, glasses smashed on the floor. You think it's funny? I'm being serious. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. It was fucking freaky. And ever since I've come back, I swear things have been moving around in the night and stuff's gone missing. So it followed you here? I think it's followed me here. <laughs> Alright, well, what else? Didn't you say, didn't you say it attacked, so if it's attacking you in the night, you got, you said you got bruises or something? No, I haven't got any bruises. You, come on, you, you said, you said you had scratches. Just fuck off. So, what we have here is uh, this beast of a camera. It's gonna be filming you all night. And we're, you know. It's so. a bit fucking weird having a camera watch me whilst I'm sleeping. Get used to it. Just imagine it like Big Brother or something. Sweet dreams, dickhead. Hey, Andy, it's ready. This yeah. is fucking weird, right? It's, you know, all the, all the windows were closed. We made sure all, you know, and this is about three in the morning. Check this out. Don't watch. And there's something else as well. I think we got something. Where are you going? To work. Some of us have jobs. Whatever. If 
you think that's paranormal, check this out. This was earlier in the night. <laughs> no way, that shit's normal. Come on, what is your game, mate? What is your game? Are you a ghost? What are you? Come on. Better, better do more than fucking move a little object and open a cupboard door. Jesus Christ, come on. I want some fucking shit flying around here, you know what I mean? Come on. You better smash the shit out of this room tonight. I want some footage. God's sake. Andy? Andy, did you hear that? Did you hear it? Where's your duvet? Did you hear, where, where did it come from? Andy, what the fuck is your duvet doing on the floor now? What's he doing in there? <sighs> so, um, I've watched the footage back. It does seem like something drags Andy's duvet off by itself. Which is ridiculous, obviously, I mean, but the footage doesn't lie, so, and obviously there's that scream last night, which just fucking scared the shit out of me. Um, and Andy, uh, Andy's still in bed now, I think he's come down with something, so I probably shouldn't keep filming, really, or just give it a break for a bit, maybe, but I'll see what we get tonight, and then I might just leave it at that, to be honest.
Andy, do you remember coming in my room last night? Andy. Andy. You sleepwalking. Go away! What the fuck are you doing? I'm just checking on you. Jesus. Get the fuck out! Whoa, whoa, calm down. Just take this filming fucking way too far. Oh, just you got off. scratches. Why do you get those scratches from? You got all those bruises. You need to tell me. I think I think Andy Slet walked into my room last night, but um, he's, he's not speaking to me anymore. I tried, I tried going in there earlier and he's, uh, I don't know what's wrong with him, there's, there's scratches and bruises all over his body. I mean, I've got no idea how they got there. And obviously we've seen the foot. Oh, shit. You alright mate? Today? Oh shit, sorry mate. You're there now? I can be there in like, uh, just give me two minutes, just get a pint in and I'll come join you. You got, mate, I've got, I've got some serious shit to tell you about. You've got no idea what, what's been going on here. So um, I left my camera on my room, and every every one of my photos has been burned out. I I don't think this is a ghost anymore. This is something else. Handy. Andy, we need to leave.
Andy, we need to leave. We need to go. You're right, there's something in there. We, we just need to get out of it now. Why? You know why? There's something in this room. There's something in this house. I'll go tomorrow. What? Tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. Andy, Andy. Andy, what? Andy, what? Oh! Oh! Oh!